What I have here is a glacier bay faucet for a bathroom and when you pick out a faucet you want to make sure that you do a couple of things. First off, uh, you need to measure the distance in the holes, okay? From uh, center, from left to right to center and this is four, four and a quarter and we're okay to place this. Now you have to look on the box to make sure that it's the right one and this is a uh, diagram right here at four inches. So this tells me this is the right faucet for the right sink. Make sure that you have all the tools and everything that you need and this will say on the back of the box uh, for the faucet uh, everything that you need. So if you have all these things then you're ready to rock and roll. What I like to do is go ahead and treat the bottom, the threads, uh, where the water lines are going to be attached. So I want to make sure that I do that and uh, do it properly. So what I use is a combination of pipe thread compound and Teflon tape. I use both. Some plumbers and handyman, they use one or either one. I like to use both. I've never had a water leak or a callback or anything in the 35 years I've been doing this because I use both. Now just a, a warning, this is uh, messy. Very, very messy when you put these on. You only need about a half an inch or so and just push directly. I'm going to go ahead and take this off push directly into the threads and then that way you know that everything's covered the way it's supposed to be covered so the threads uh, are well covered there and I do the same thing there now uh, just a word ahead of time it's good to go ahead and have a paper towel handy when you're doing this working with compound because it has a tendency to be very, very messy. Now on the Teflon tape, you have to realize when you're screwing anything on, um, it goes clockwise to on and counterclockwise off. So when I get ready to, to put my water connections, uh, water lines on, um, I'm going to have to think how the, the, the threading goes. So I want to put my Teflon tape in on that way. So what I'm going to do right here, let's take my tape and I'm going to start at the back and then just work it around all the way around. So I'm going to hold it up a little bit and go like so. And just give it a little tug and it's ready there as well. Do the same thing. Start at the back of the thread because it gets thicker as you go around and it won't be so cumbersome to get on at the beginning. So this is how I'm doing it there. And just pull and then just smooth that up. Now we're ready to go ahead and um, put the water lines on and I like to, again I like to put everything together and then slip it through the holes right here at the bottom and uh, when it's uh, ready to go. So um, I won't be able to do it on this particular model because of my locking washers and uh, so I need to go ahead and put those on now. Some people say, oh man, you messed up, you, you should have uh, put the locking washers on there first and then do everything. Uh, it really doesn't matter because uh, it's going to go on either way. So we're going to go ahead and turn this around and uh, put this on. So, let me do this.
just to where you can see what's going on, I'm going to go ahead and insert this where it should be. Now they have a, when putting this on, uh, it does call for some compound, some uh, putty, and I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and I'll show you how to apply the plumber's putty uh, all the way around. Alright, I've got the plumber's putty, and just to kind of show you what this looks like, um, it can harden if you don't put the lid back on, or if it's aged any at all. And if you remember back in kindergarten days, if you have kids, this is just like Play-Doh. So what I do is I'm going to make a I call it a ribbon. And you just take it like so, and you roll it back and forth until you make a worm or a snake or whatever you want to call it. Just a little ribbon. And what I do is just place this putty all the way around. I'm going to try to get it as thin as I can. Like so. And then I just work it all the way around. By the way, you don't have to have this on the uh, faucet base just for right now while you're putting it on all right so just lay it in there fix it where it'll stick and then uh, once you apply the a washer locking washers on and tighten everything up this will squeeze out and then you can just clean it up Okay, I'm ready to go there. I'll go ahead and feed this on. Gotta be very careful with the threads and make sure that you don't strip out the washer because the washer itself is plastic and the threads being plastic will do the same thing. Okay, you're going to have a access, a bit of access, uh, excess, excuse me, of putty, plumber's putty, and that's okay. What we're going to do is just take any edge, straight edge, whatever you want to do. I use a putty knife. Take that and clean up all the way around. Like so. The cool thing is you can take that putty and reuse it and then you can just come back with a wet or dry cloth and just wipe that all the way around and what that does it gives you a seal as you can see here it's sealed all the way around and what that does is keeps water from going back behind around here and down below and ruining the flooring or walls or any kind of leak whatsoever. Now we're ready to flip this over and go ahead and connect um, the water lines. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone back through and checked 
my Teflon tape and everything, and everything's still good. So what I'm going to do is connect my half inch water line to the nipple here. And what you do is just set it in square and then just twist it by hand and it's good for right there. Now I want to show you something. You make sure that you have the rubber piece that's right like so uh, because if you don't uh, you're not going to have it seated properly and it's going to leak. So just double checking and this is what you want to do here. Set it on there as square as you can. Start the threading. You've got to be real careful. It goes on really easy. But you don't want to strip the threads out at all. Now, once you've got that on there, you can do it two ways. Uh, you can use a crescent wrench, which has got a variable thing you just move with your thumb. And this will open and close it, get it to fitting and then just turn it as you will. Or you can use a pair of channel locks which works a lot better in a tight situation like this just because of the way it's angled. So I come in like so and make my turns as I need and it's not quite as hard to get to. So you don't want to bear down on this, it's not necessary. So I've got that line ready, I'm going to move this out of the way. And then I'm going to do the same thing right here. Take this and turn it until I get it all the way on. Okay, now this is set and ready to go. Now we're going to go ahead and set in the drain line. Okay, I've placed the putty, farmer's putty, all the way around. I'm going to stick this through the, the front part and then place this drain line. And I'm going to lower this as much as possible where I can get all the way in. Now, remember, if you go ahead and just lower all this and then place the rubber stopper, a rubber washer, around the edge that's packaged. And you want the flat edge against the washer. So just go ahead and take that, push it all the way in. And now what we're going to do, we're going to connect this inside to the drain on the inside. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and place this inside and connect it to the other piece. Now you don't want to turn it around too much. Now what I do, I'm going to turn this sideways where you can see it a little bit. Is I take the washer itself and start screwing the beveled rubber washer, a rubber gasket, up against the fitting here. So now I'll have a good solid connection.
Okay, so what I'm going to do here now is once this is hand tied, I'm just going to go around just one time. And this is kind of a cool wrench here. It's called a pipe wrench. And what you do is just open it up. And I open it up with both hands. And hold this particular spot. Um, hold this down. You want this uh, opening to the back. So I'm just going to hold that as a brace. And just tighten this up a little bit, go around a couple of times. And you don't want to do too much force. And all I'm trying to do is get the washer all the way up. And so it's a good connection right here. What I do now is take the rod or the stopper, place it in the hole all the way in like I need and it'll come out the other side so I can show that to you so right here is the rod it's coming up I'm going to go ahead and take the top off of here and It comes packaged like so. If you'll take this stopper, pinch it together, and you can slide this on and off through the hole. And once you get, once you let go, it'll expand and it stops. So I want to take this loose, get this going. This section right here, I'm gonna to have to turn this upside down just to show you. Now you see the rod coming out. So uh, I've got access to that and that's good. Um, let's go ahead and take the ball. And the ball's kind of tricky. You've got to take the stopper. See this stopper right here goes inside this section here. And it will, when you move the, the rod up and down, oh, this will move the stopper up and down as well. So you can go ahead and pull all the plastic off if you want while you're installing this. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the stopper inside the hole, but you'll want to have it to where it is this way. If you, if you put it inside the hole uh, this way, it won't make a good connection. So take it just like so and insert it into the drain. Now what I do is I can tell when I move this right here, you can hear it. Well, then I've got a good connection right there. Now I do take this, slip it up. This is the washer. And I take this and go ahead and get it completely ready and locked in here. now that will open and close as I need. So next what we're going to do is take the rod holder, take this like so, and because it's plastic, I'm going to go ahead and slip the one edge of the holder in, flip this around, Come back down, slip this in the hole, pinch it together, and then you can kind of judge a straight line. So this won't um, this won't uh, move on you at all. And then there is a nut that you're going to turn. And you're just gonna get that tight and get it set. And I just use a pair of pliers or whatever you want to use to set the screw. So now I know it won't slip. Now it's kind of torqued and I'm going to straighten it up a little bit. Now this will not move and of course this won't move at all. So now it's uh, closed. So when I pull the 
the rod and push the rod either way, I know it's going to open and close. Okay, so what I'm going to do here now is, once this is hand tied, I'm just going to go around just one time. And this is kind of a cool a wrench here. It's called a pipe wrench. And what you do is just open it up. And I open it up with both hands. And hold this particular spot. Um, hold this down. You want this uh, opening to the back. So I'm just going to hold that as a brace and just tighten this up a little bit, go around a couple of times. And you don't want to do too much force. All I'm trying to do is get the washer all the way up, and so it's a good connection right here. What I do now is take the rod or the stopper, place it in the hole, all the way in like I need, and it'll come out the other side. I can show that to you. So right here is the rod. It's coming up. I want to go ahead and take the stop off of here. And it comes packaged like so. If you'll take this stopper, pinch it together, and you can slide this on and off through the hole. And once you get, once you let go, it'll expand and it stops. So we're going to take this loose. Get this going. This section right here, I'm going to have to turn this upside down just to show you. Now you see the rod coming out. So uh, I've got access to that and that's good. Um, let's go ahead and take the ball. And the ball's kind of tricky. You've got to Take the stopper, see this stopper right here, goes inside this section here, and it will, when you move the, the rod up and down, oh, this will move the stopper up and down as well. So you can go ahead and pull all the plastic off if you want while you're installing this. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the stopper inside the hole. But you'll want to have it to where it is this way. If you if you put it inside the hole uh, this way, it won't make a good connection. So take it just like so and insert it into the drain. Now what I do is I can tell when I move this right here, you can hear it. Well, then I've got a good connection right there. Now I do take this. Flip it up. This is the washer. I'm going to take this and go ahead and get it completely ready and locked in here. And now that will open and close as I need. The next step is The next step is a little, I call it an Indian trick, uh, because I'm Indian. So 
you've got to slip this on first and then kind of judge your distance, if you will. Well, let's just do it this way. So next what we're going to do is take the rod holder, take this like so, and because it's plastic, I'm going to go ahead and slip the one edge of the holder in, slip this around, come back down, slip this in the hole, pinch it together, and then you can kind of judge a straight line. So this won't, um, this won't uh, move on you at all. And then there is a nut that you're going to turn. And you're just going to get that tight and get it set. And I just use a pair of pliers or whatever you want to use to set the screw. Now I know it won't slip. Now it's kind of torqued and I'm going to straighten it up a little bit. Now this will not move and of course this won't move at all. So now it's uh, closed. So when I pull the, the rod and push the rod either way, I know it's going to open and close. Now you can make your adjustments as you want and as you need. So I'm going to make a few adjustments on this to make sure that the rod on the upside opens and closes effectively. Now the proof is in the pudding, so I can take this and adjust it as I need, and that's good. It opens a good half inch all the way around. And what I do here with my finger, go ahead and clean up all that I need to clean up. You can take a plastic, or you can take a paper towel, clean up as you need as well. Clean it up as we go. And now we're ready. So now we're ready to install this on the pedestal. Now the proof is in the pudding, so I can take this and adjust it as I need and that's good. It opens a good half inch all the way around. And what I do here with my finger, go ahead and clean up all that I need to clean up. You can take a plastic, or you can take a paper towel, clean up as you need as well. So we're just going to clean it up as we go. And now we're ready. So now we're ready to install this on the pedestal. This is Rick Patterson with the Handyman Toolbox. By the way, before you go, I want to encourage you to check out my other videos. And you'll see a link below. Click on it, the 1,000th person that subscribes to 
thehandymantoolbox.com gets a free tool. Go ahead and register now. See you there.